bed in. Yay! Mwah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, like we said, we got our bed in. Yeah, exciting. Exciting times. Yeah, well, it's not actually in. We got the mattress in. Yeah. And we still have to build the frame it's going to go on. Mm -hmm. So, we decided to go with a uh, Tuft and Needle Nod mattress. It's their mattress that they only sell on Amazon. So it's um, a little bit cheaper than like their bottom of the line mattress. We didn't want to invest a whole lot of money into a mattress that we were going to have to cut a little bit. But, but we still want comfort. We still want comfort. <laughs> yeah. We want quality. This mattress has great reviews and I have to say so far it feels pretty comfortable. It does. I really just want to sleep in <laughs> the van tonight on this. Oh, kind of away from the dogs to yeah. be honest because they take up a huge amount of space in the bed even though they're small. Yeah so with that being said we decided to go with a king size mattress. Um, we're gonna take up the entire width of the van in the back. Unfortunately we're gonna have to sleep front to back because I'm 5'11 and I do not fit sleeping side to side. <laughs> <laughs> so um, but we decided to go with the king because we currently sleep on a queen, queen with four dogs and so the king's giving us an additional 10 inches width wise than what we're used to sleeping on so we're hoping that that gives us a little bit more room in the bed because they all like to sleep right on the sides of us yeah um so we'll see how that goes i guess but. i have a feeling we're still <laughs> gonna be cramped for space yeah they're gonna be on top of us but this uh i think was the right choice going with a fixed king that we're gonna have to obviously cut down a little bit but yeah and on our last camping trip we just put mattresses uh on the floor like these mats and it took up the entire width so it was basically 70 inches and i think we both agreed that that yeah. uh camping trip over thanksgiving we slept better the dogs seemed to have more room they weren't piled quite right on top of us everybody had enough space width wise yeah so we're hoping that translates over into this bed. Day one and done of the bed. That is the goal for today. Let's figure out how to put this bed in. Let's do it. All right, all right. We already hit snag one. Our blade, it's done for. We thought we had another, but uh, we're having a hard time finding it. This is always how van builds go, or is it just us? We found it. Got two by ten. Two by ten. Oh, I'm too tall for the camera. Oh, uh, they're actually like two by nine and a half. Yeah, so two by tens. 
Uh, we had them cut it down to the 70 inch uh, width. We're gonna stack them up now and then slap that mattress on and we got it works. Hopefully it works. All right, All right let's get to it. Like we, we said, it. yeah, we did it. Day <laughs> one and done. Yeah, I would have to say, as far as projects we've taken on so far, this one was probably the easiest. Once we figured out what materials we needed and what yeah. would work, it wasn't easy, but it was it went easier than I thought it was gonna go. The bigger thing for us was figuring out the height that we wanted, so we can both still sit up in bed. We still had mm. enough storage space in the garage. For me right now, it feels a little high up, but we're gonna have a step and I think it's gonna fit and flow a little bit better. Mm -hmm. We decided not to cut the mattress at this time. Uh, it does fit in here, but I think once the walls come in, we may need to chop a little bit off the side. We'll determine that once that time comes. Yeah, I think we'll probably have to just cut maybe like an inch off yeah. of the side of the mattress which isn't a big deal so how we installed the bed was so um we got a uh, two inch by two inch 60 61 aluminum angle iron i mean i guess it's not yeah. iron it's aluminum but that seemed to be the strongest and also the lightest i know some people use steel some people have used some other things yeah. and we went back and forth on how we were going to build the beds you know and the number one thing for us was we wanted it to be a platform we didn't want to have any structural you know help down below because we wanted the garage to be one big open space so we could organize that however we wanted yeah after scouring the internet and reading a lot of stuff on um, the sprinter forum it seemed like this was going to be the easiest way to do it so unfortunately at our local Home Depot and Lowe's, they don't sell the 6061 aluminum. So we had to order it through Granger, but that only took like three days to get here. So it wasn't too bad. Yep. And that was, I think, 55 bucks. And they came in like 90 inches. So we had to cut like 10 inches of the ends off. And then we just had to figure out where we wanted to put them, where the holes were gonna go. Yep. And we uh, installed them to the wall with 7 sixteenths grade eight hex bolts with washers and locking nuts. I know a lot of people have also done this with um, riv nuts or plus nuts but that wasn't something I, number one, felt comfortable doing. Neither of us had done that before. Um, you have to buy a special tool, which is like $80 on Amazon just to install them. And the whole reason from what I can understand behind using riv nuts is you use it in areas where you wouldn't be able to reach behind to put a nut on. We were able to do that, although it was really, really tight in some spaces. Yeah. Um, but we were able to, you know, use teamwork and, you know, somebody wedge their hand back there while trying to screw the bolt on. So we did five bolts on each side. Our intention was to do six, but based on where we had to put the angle iron, um, and where the crevices were in the walls of the van we could only really fit five so we did five yeah and then we went to home depot and got we went, we went with two by tens uh, originally we we're gonna go with some plywood to put on top mm -hmm. uh, but that was with two by fours so when we found the two by ten there and they seem to be working really well i mean they're holding our weight uh the dogs don't weigh that much more than us uh, so 
seems structurally sound. Our goal was to have this done today, and man, laying down on this just a minute ago it was so <laughs> comfortable. I cannot wait to sleep in it. I'm very excited to have the bed in. It was a huge step, I think, visually for me because the floor is great, the fans are awesome, that you need them. Same with the solar and the batteries. But getting this bed in visually, it's you can start seeing the pieces come together for the the actual home and the the heart and soul of what our van's gonna be. And I'm just absolutely excited for this camping trip coming up and then to to see how the rest of the bill goes and what our little baby Baymax turns into. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so we'll see how it holds up. Um I know there's people out there that have done something similar to this with like the angle iron and then just using a three quarter inch um, like birch plywood across with you know nothing else beneath them and they've been able to hold the weight. So we're hoping that uh, you know two inches of hard lumber um, is gonna hold up pretty well. I think it will. I don't think there's too much um, movement going on with it. but no. Time will tell. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the middle of sleeping. Yeah. Because <laughs> that would be not fun, but. Yeah. I think that's it for this time. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and it was a, a short install. I think, uh, what time is it? It's um, 6.30. So I would say all together with um, having the, the materials readily available, doing the cuts, the drilling, and the install probably was four and a half hours. Yeah, I think it was pretty quick, uh, you know, for not having a, a plan necessarily right off the bat. Yeah. So So if you have any questions about what we did um, or, or anything like that, how it's holding up, um, you know, comment below. We'll put a list on there of the materials that we used. Uh, so hopefully that can help some, some people out. And yeah. uh, as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell um, if you have enjoyed what you've seen. And yeah. And we'll until see you then, next week. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.